Hey guys, Paul ISM, welcome to another review. A little bit different today. I'm going to be doing the review of a Diecast Mini Champ model. Now, a company reached out to me via email, uh, HMKT in the Netherlands. They sell primarily Diecast models as well as a few other things on their website. I'll have a look through their site for a little bit. We're going to have a scroll through. Saying, would I be interested in reviewing a Diecast kit if they send it to me? I said yes. They picked a very interesting subject that I was interested in, sent it out. And here's the review today. So it's not normally something we do. I do have a few uh, diecast models in my collection now. Loads of Hot Wheels as well, which is never a growing collection that I've got. Um, so it is something I'm interested in. If you're interested in cars, it's a car subject. And hey, we can have a look and see what kind of quality we get. So we've got a Mini Champs 143rd Mercedes SLS AMG GT3. It's a limited edition, 143rd kit. So let's go and open the box and have a look what we've got. Right then, here we go. So it comes in this very nice boxing. It gives you a very sneak peek of the model in there. Very nice. Got AMG, Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3, 45th anniversary on the side. Limited edition with the official uh, Mercedes hologram on the side. On the back, you've got the number related to the kit, the scale, obviously a 143rd and some information where it's made, and warnings about choking hazards. So don't be eating any of the bits off this. It's not something you want to do. So I have a whole collection of all different scales of uh, model cars. Obviously, I build them myself. Um, I also collect uh, Hot Wheels, started to collect in a way, in a, in a low-key way. Um, and I've got loads of different ones of Fords, Nissans, uh, Lancias, things like that in the display case behind me, and a few 118 models as well. So the company reached out to me and said whether I'd be interested in reviewing a, a model, and they offered to send me this beautiful Mini Champs Mercedes-Benz. So comes in its own display case. The car is securely held in underneath, so you can unscrew it and take it off should you wish. If I can get this off, have a little look. And there we go. And I have to say, it is absolutely beautifully done it's in a satin uh, semi-gloss finish and it just looks absolutely fantastic the level of finish and detail is absolutely beautiful down to the wheels which look absolutely stunning got the appropriate dunlop tire markings on there all the decal library is nice all the panel lines at the scale it's just a really really nice model i'm very impressed to be honest at the level of detail. Now, Mini Champs are not the cheapest. For a 143rd, this one costs about £45, £46 pounds or euros. It's on their site. Um, but I have to say, the level of finish is absolutely beautiful. It is a really nice, high-quality finish display model. Even down to the uh, rear t uh, supports for the spoiler are very, very nice and thin. They are carbon detail on them. As does the uh, spoiler itself. It's probably quite hard to pick up because it is in scale. Paint finish on the model, absolutely beautiful. Very, very high quality. Some of the best I've seen on a die-cast kit, if I'm completely honest. It's quite often where some of the <coughs> die-cast models would let themselves down in their paint finish. But on this one, it is almost flawless. In fact, I can't see a single blemish on the paintwork anywhere. Um, now, as a model maker, you'll always spot things that you think could be better, but it is a mass-produced model, so there are going to be limitations on what can be done, but overall, I think it's a really, really nice model, and uh, I've got to find somewhere really nice to display this, because it is a really pretty 143rd kit. So, even the glasswork, it needs a wipe over, a nice clean cloth, because I've had my hands on it, obviously I would have been looking at it. But it's nice. You've got the hint of the interior, which you can see. I can see the seats in there. Probably won't show for you guys, but the seats are all detailed. I can see silver trim on the seats. I can see the head restraints on the seats built in. Let me get my torch. We'll see what else is in there. We've got seat belts on the seats as well. I can't, you know what? They almost look like they're fabric as well. <clears throat> I don't think you'll be able to see in. I think it's going to struggle. Getting in there, but you can see the seats themselves. Really nice. All the buttons are in there as well. For all the switch gear. It's actually really well detailed inside the roll cages there. 
a nice steering wheel. It's it's really really nicely detailed. And those seat belts don't just look like decals to me. It's hard to say, but beautiful model. Very impressed. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for the guys at HM KT for sending me this for a review. Hopefully we can get some more. And obviously we've got the discount code for yourselves as well. So absolutely beautiful. Very, very impressed by that. And that's going to make a nice display piece somewhere in my cave. And there we go. There's the Mini Champs, 143rd Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3 45th Anniversary Limited, limited Edition Diecast Model. So there we go. So it's a very nice little model, that, to be honest. Uh, a lot better quality than some of the 43rd scale kits that uh, sorry, models that I've owned in the past. I've had some pre-built 43rds. Very highly detailed, very high quality of finish on it as well. The interior, you can't really see it. Looks fantastic on the inside. And yeah, I'm really glad to have this. There it is. I need to pick somewhere nice for it to go and display in here, which I am running out of display space slowly. But um, I will find somewhere nice for it to go. And it can live there. Maybe we can get some more for review uh, and have a look through those as well. So... Very high quality kit. Very impressed with the fit and finish on that. Um, it's not the cheapest and costs around 45, 46 pounds or euros. I forget the price now. Um, so not the cheapest, but mini champs are a name synonymous with motorsport, uh, car, bike models. So a well-known brand. And like I say, I am very impressed with the level of detail on that. Even the paint finish is very good on it as well. So thank you very much for all the guys and girls at HMKT for sending me that for a review. Um, we'll go and have a quick look through their website while we're just ending this video. Okay, so this is the HMKT.nl uh, website. Lots on here, primarily die-cast cars, but they also do... Um, Slot racing, so scale electric kind of things. Uh, presentation, so display cases, tin plates, enamel plates, some good stuff on there. I was looking there the other day. Children's vehicles, construction, puzzles, games, toys. Um, there's all their links to YouTube, their top 10. And if you go down the bottom, you can actually go for a virtual tour around their shop, which is very, very cool. So you can have a good look around. And as you can see, it is primarily die cast. There's lots and lots in there. Nice little seating area as well. So it looks a pretty good store to go and have a shop around. Sadly, not very local for me. But luckily enough, we can order online. So there's that. So if you go up to the top, like I say, lots of different things. If we go through here, there were some interesting display cases I saw the other day as well. This is very cool. I like this. So it's got a rotary bottom piece, a static top piece, and it's lit as well. This is something I would really like, um, and I think I might have to look at getting one of these at some point. €80, Euros, what's that, about £72, roughly. Um, it's pretty cool. Mirror back, so the bottom one rotates, top one stays static. They're 118th cars, so you probably got one 112th in there, or a good few 124ths, or loads of 43rds, and it's lit as well. So not a bad price at all. To be honest, and obviously they do smaller ones, so you can get six times the 118th ones for 60 euro, which is a very, very good price. Having bought a load of these recently, uh, I paid a lot more than that for them. And what size are they? They're out of stock currently. They would have been the perfect size as well, and they were a lot cheaper than I paid recently. So it just goes to show you, doesn't it? The lighted ones as well, uh, a bit more executive style, stacked ones, much bigger ones. Very bespoke ones, lit ones, these are very cool. So there's a good range of cases in there, well worth a look. So very interesting. And then obviously all the other stuff they do is up here. Uh, and then the miniatures. So you're onto your cars, bikes, trucks, everything. So all the different scales. I'm assuming you can do scale in here. You can. You've got your filters for your different scales for everything. So if we pick, we'll go with 118th. And we'll have a look at all the 118th. So we've got Kyoshu. Auto art, auto art models are beautiful. I've got a Sierra Cosworth by them, <clears throat> and it's absolutely stunning. Dodge SRT Hellcat, oh, that one's nice. I like that one, very pretty. The Challenger, lovely BMW M2. They have got some beautiful, beautiful models and of various prices as well. Obviously, the auto art and what have you are expensive. Uh, and then it comes down to the lower range of the mini champs, they're very well priced. The mini champs ones. 
really well priced and there's a lot of them 125 pages of 118 scale kits very very cool so if you want to look through for a particular style i think you go to the top bmw in you all know i'm a big bmw fan and ford and have a look at all the different bmw so let's have a look oh nice e34 alpina this b10 very very nice e30 m3 there's loads there's lo as a die cast collector there's a lot to look at on here and i think they're very well priced as well really well priced so well, with a look, have a look around. Pick your favourite um, car manufacturer. Have a look through. You know me, I love BMWs, and I'm a big Ford fan as well. So let's have a look at Fords they've got while we're in here. So we've got some American stuff. Go Taurus, Capri Mark Three. That's pretty cool. So that's a one forty third Capri. That's very nice. Oh, Macron Coupe from uh, Diamonds Are Forever. Very very cool. So lots and lots. Again, 21 pages of those. Let's be a bit more specific. So well worth having a look through their site. <clears throat> oh, now we're talking. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful models. Oh, yes. You know I'm a Ford fan at heart, a die-hard Ford fan. And they are very nice. That's a nice one. Yep, there are plenty of uh, diecast models I quite happily have in here, here but yes, <laughs> where do you stop with the collecting? But while we have a look through this site, the code for my discount is Paul ISM 10 I'll pop it up on screen in the review and I'll stick it in the description down below. It's Paul ISM 10 that will get 10% off um, the site across the board, I think. I know it's definitely on the diecast, I'm assuming it's on everything else. But if you look for the miniatures, there's cars, buses, or buzzers, if you're Alan, uh, figurines, Formula One, earth moving, forklifts, helicopters, helmets. There's all sorts. Movie memorabilia, engines, accessories, roadworks. There's all sorts in there. So, well worth looking at the site. It's hmkt.nl. Um, like I say, full list of all the products are at the top. And there's uh, the contact us down the bottom as well, should you want to send them an email. And yeah, go on over, use my discount code, and save yourself 10%. And there we go. So plenty of die cast models on there. And there's a whole host. I could fill my trolley on there. There's loads of really interesting subjects on there uh, I could quite happily have. So hopefully we see some more in the future. Um, but go and check out their site. I do have a discount code. I think it's going to be Paul ISM. Haven't fully confirmed yet. I will stick it in the description of this video when I fully know, and I'll pop it on screen when I definitely know. They did ask me for the word I'd like from my discount code, and I did put Paul ISM. So I'll flash it up on screen for you, uh, and you can go use my discount code on their site if you wish. So thank you very much, guys, for sending me that review. Uh, really impressed by that. And like I say, looking forward to finding somewhere for it to go in here. I will find a permanent home where it's on display and uh, go over and check their website out, have a look, and obviously use that discount code if you want. And there we go. If you'd like to review that die-cast kit, it's a short review, different kind of video, let me know. I can always do some more. I'm not going to say the whole channel is going to be flooded with them, but we can do the occasional one every now and then. Um, and, yeah, let me know what you thought. As always, I support the channel. There's a Patreon me link in the description down below. There's a buy me a coffee, a PayPal me link as well. You get early access on the videos. Um, you can get exclusive video bills, exclusive videos. There's quite a lot of perks in the tiers, so go and have a look at those. Everything else in the description down below is there, including a link to HMKT's website themselves. Go over there and have a look. And there's links for everything ISM, UMP, myself, emails, the lot on there. My personal modeling page. My Etsy, where my built models are put up for sale, as well as in the description down below. Like I say, let me know what you thought of that review. It's a bit different. I know some people aren't going to like it, some people aren't going to watch it, and that's fair enough. But if you like it, you'd like to see more, let me know, and I'll arrange to do some more sporadically every now and then. Um, and obviously leave a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell for future notifications of video. Enjoy your day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.